Right guys, how's it going? It is a Thursday, the 4th of March 2021, and you're watching Carpter TV. Right, I want to talk to you about this kid, uh, Hossem Owa. Uh, we've spoke about him before, I often refer to him as the boy from Lyon. Um, he's a midfielder, he's 22 years of age. Uh, he's been capped by France once, played for the under-21s and under-17s. Very, very, very good player. Uh, heavily linked with Arsenal, uh, Man City previously, and ourselves. And at one time, I thought that this was a player that was going to end up at Liverpool. I can't remember when that was because of lockdowns and football being suspended and just generally life being completely mental at the moment. Uh, all time seems to have gone out of the window. But I would imagine it was, I don't know, just before the, uh, the, the, the corona and all that. Now... There's a mention of him today, it's very brief, uh, and it's by Neil Jones, uh, the Liverpool FC correspondent uh, on Goal.com, and he just throws his name into the equation with other names as well, uh, which I'm not going to mention, it's Just this is the one that I want to focus on, um, because the reason that I want to focus on this one is because we do know that Liverpool scouts have, have, have uh, monitored, monitored him before, kept an eye on him before. Um, and it really looked like he was going to be you know, subject to a recruitment attempt at one time. So for me to see his name mentioned again today, it got me a little bit wet. I've got to be honest, because I really like him. Now, I was looking at his, his, uh, his contract details. He's under contract for another two years. Uh, June 30th, 2023 uh, is his contract. But one little uh, mention that I will give that you, you might be interested in. interests me. I always look for these links and associations. Uh, is that he uh, shares the same agency as uh, Liverpool defender Joe Gomez. And I always think that that makes things a little bit more easier, you know, in terms of, um, you know, the existing relationships that you can tap into and stuff like that. Sometimes it can make it more difficult, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I, 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 I'm just excited. I, I like it. it. It doesn't mean anything. It's, it's a very, very, very small reference. Um, the local media have picked up on it. Uh, it just says Liverpool are reportedly interested in signing Hussam uh, Oa, uh, with uh, when Wijnaldum expected to leave the club this summer. The Reds are in the market for a new midfielder and the report claims uh, Chiefs have confirmed interest uh, in, uh, in the Lyon playmaker and Brighton's uh, Bissouma, is how you pronounce his name, uh, with strong links with Florian Neuhaus of Borussia Mönchengladbach. Um, the report also claims Liverpool want to sign a new forward while the likes of Divock Origi, Shakiri, Wilson, Ojo and Gruick are all available uh, for transfer. So um, it, it seemed to be dead in the water that one and like I say there's, there's, no, there's nothing that suggests whatsoever uh, that we're not trying to sign him or anything like that but just the fact his name has been mentioned and by, by Neil Jones... Uh, makes me just listen a little bit and think, ooh, hello, because that'd be uh, pretty tasty. So I, I just want you to uh, to listen out for that one. Uh, happy birthday to the king today, uh, 70 years of age. Um, really, you know, what can you say about Kenny Dalglish? I was watching a, a video earlier today, uh, like a 25 minute long sort of like little documentary thing. I posted it on the Cop Top members website. Um, and um, also, I think James Pierce uh, from The Athletic did a really lengthy. Uh, you know, really long article um, about uh, about him today, uh, which is uh, exceptional reading. And um, you know, I don't know. Just the king. You know, he's for me. Uh, you know, probably uh, most people would say the greatest player to play for Liverpool. But I think a lot of younger supporters would go with uh, with with Dalglish. Obviously, for me, my favourite player, the greatest player ever to play for Liverpool was John Barnes. That's uh, as far as I'm concerned. Dalglish was sort of like the his playing days were at the were coming to an end as I was sort of like really starting to understand football. So I didn't really see Dalglish, uh, and I'm sure if I did, that he would be um, my favourite uh, player of all time in in, in that regard. Um, but yeah, he's he's an absolute legend, isn't he? And um, I don't know, just watching some of the old videos today, uh, you know, watching him uh, in action at Anfield and that, it's just brought back a lot of memories and that, you know. So anyway, um, yeah, happy, uh, happy, happy birthday to King. I know we had the, the, the bad news, the sad news uh, regarding uh, the Saint the other day, which I, I've, I touched on on the Cop Talk podcast, uh, which you can go and listen to if you want to. Um, you know stuff. You know what I'm like. I, you know, I wear my hat on my sleeve. Things, 
you know, I, I'm someone that really dwells on, on things and, um, you know, bad news. I don't like to focus on it too much. So that, like, what I mean is when someone dies connected to the club or someone famous or high profile all day and rightly so, it's everyone giving their opinion, everyone giving, you know, writing articles and it just, it overwhelms me, it consumes me and um, it brings me down. Okay, so I didn't really uh, touch on it. Um, until the day after when I, when I put a tweet out and then I mentioned it on the Cop Talk podcast and Ian St. John uh, was very good uh, with me back in, in the 90s when I created Cop Talk. You know, he used to write a, a weekly or bi-weekly column or something like that for the website. Um, he, he was before my time but I knew he was a legend and mainly because of St. and Greavesy. Um, so to have him, you know, working on this little project that I'd set up back then was uh, was incredible for me as a football supporter, as a Liverpool fan. And um, you guys today, you spoke rotten with all the, the media sources and websites and podcasts and YouTube channels. None of these things existed, um, you know, really when, when, when we started Cop Talk back in, in the 90s. Uh, so it was like the first time to put really, um, to connect our overseas supporters with legends, uh, you know, from from the past, because the only time you ever really saw them was maybe in a TV interview, uh, and uh, or uh, a newspaper article, uh, for example. But obviously now we've got we've got former footballers everywhere, uh, you know, writing columns and that. But back then it was unique, it was new, and um, you know, Cop Talk was online before Google, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or it existed before all of those things. Uh, and Ian St. John was um, was helpful. I spoke to him many times on the phone. You know, I was honest with him. I said, look, I'm just, just a fan. I'm just a fan. I'm just, I've set up this website, like, and it's really, it's took off and all that. And I'd love it if you do a bit for us, you know. I said, I ain't got much fucking money. It's fucking 23 years later, nothing's changed. I said, I ain't got much money, like. I said, but, you know, but you see, the thing is, the colonists, they wanted to stay in touch with the fans. Today, it would be different. They'd go to the these betting companies and they'd want thousands and stuff like that. But back then... It was just a football fan. The internet was new technology, really. I mean, the internet might have been years old, decades old, but in terms of, you know, normal consumer, if you like, uh, ordinary people. And um, he was helpful. Yeah, he was helpful. And he was a nice man, as were the rest of the uh, colonists. So very sad uh, that he passed. Gerard Gerard Ullier recently, uh, Phil Chisnell, uh, 78, uh, last player to transfer direct between Liverpool and Man United. Uh, as uh, as passed away, um, before my time, obviously uh, I don't know much about him. I do know the name. Um, I, after I've recorded, you know, finished this video, I, I will go and you know read up on him a little bit. Maybe see if there's any stuff on YouTube. I like to do that sometimes because I think that although I'm not someone that particularly likes uh, history, you know, when I was growing up, I wasn't really interested in in in, in the, all these big games that Liverpool had played and finals and these the greatest players in the 40s, 50s, 60s. Why would I be interested in that as a young fan? I was more interested in the present and the future. But as I've got older, I like to look at it a little bit now. And then when someone dies like this, I think it's like, that's a way of showing your respect, I think. Do you not think? Do you think? I can hear knocking. That's why I stopped then. I don't know if you noticed that. Um, so like, I'll, I'll, I will now do a bit of, um, bit of respect to Phil Chisel and just read up on him a little bit and watch something. Anyway, so let's not dwell. Uh, I hope you enjoy the uh, the Chelsea game uh, this evening. I am actually going to watch this one. You know, I'm very miserable at the moment uh, with regards the you know the lack of atmosphere and stuff like that. Uh, but I will be uh, I'll be watching this one. I'm gonna I've got to watch Liverpool Chelsea. I've got to try and get into it. There's light at the end of the tunnels, guy. At the end of the tunnel, trust me. This all these infections are coming down now. I'm starting to feel really positive. You know, I've been in a bad place recently. You know, and I'm starting to for these last fucking couple of days, man. I felt really, really recharged and ready. And I can't wait for the football to return. You know. Um, I won't be doing a Cop Talk podcast today because I think it's pointless because you've got the game tonight. I know you'll all be focused on that and I'll be reading things out on the podcast that would then be time relevant around the game. So we'll do a podcast in the morning for Cop Talk. Uh, if you are a member of this YouTube channel, there will be a members video for you tomorrow on here, okay? If you're not a member, you can support the channel by clicking on join underneath the video. That's about it, guys. That's about it, I think. Uh, I got some stuff to do. Big day for me today. I've got um, an important uh, appointment in a, in a few hours, and um, yeah, I hope you're all all right. Um, I will be doing uh, a live stream uh, on on YouTube on here on Saturday evening at seven pm UK time, um, and uh, yeah, that's about it really. So 
Let's hope we batter these fuckers tonight, you know? Yeah? Okie dokie. Right. Anyway, let me know if you what you think about that kid from uh, Leon, the boy from Leon, because I always forget how to pronounce his name. Ow, 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 ah, ow, ah, ow, ah, ow, ah, you. Yeah, right, kid. Let me know what you uh, what you think about that. And anything else, uh, I read all your comments, obviously. Even the nasty ones. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah. All right, guys, uh, take care, and I'll catch up with you real soon.